Hi, welcome to this session on Agri-Food Trust, a testing and learning platform for digital trust and transparency technologies. Today's session is both an introduction and a call to action. Let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Gideon Kruzman. I work for CIMIT, the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, where I am the foresight and ex-ante uh, impact assessment research lead. I also uh, coordinate the community of practice on socioeconomic data within the CGAR platform for big data and agriculture. Uh, in, uh, within that community, uh, we have a, block, a blockchain coalition, and I'm the co-founder and coordinator of AgriFood Trust. AgriFood Trust is the testing and learning platform for digital trust and transparency technologies. Uh, the idea was born in 2019. It was launched in February of this year at the Strike2 Summit in February. Meet the co-founders of AgriFood Trust. Marike de Ruiter de Wild, who is the CEO and founder of the AgriFood blockchain startup, The New Fork, and uh, Chris Addison, um, a consultant on digital agriculture, form formerly with CTA. Let me start with the context. Barring major catastrophes, in 2050, we will be with about 10 billion people, ensuring that the world population has access to ample, diverse, affordable, and nutritious food while staying within planetary boundaries isn't going to fly with business as usual. This is, obviously, compounded by climate change. This implies that we have to do things differently. The agricultural technologies to make this transition into inclusive, sustainable food systems are available. But what is holding us back? Counterproductive incentives, poor governance structures, prevailing institutional arrangements, market failures are just a few. Technology may be at the foundation of, uh, of the solutions, but technology is the easy part. Solving the softer side has proven to be a seemingly insuperable challenge over the past decades. Using digital trust and transparency technologies on top of other solutions, business models, and partnerships is the potential game changer that will allow us to achieve the desired food system transformation. Many of the wicked problems and seemingly insuperable challenging, challenges facing dynamic complex agri-food system value chains, especially in our target geographies in low and middle income countries, boil down to a lack of trust, transparency, and reliable governance structures. Digital trust and transparency technologies, such as blockchain, have the potential to be the game changers by taking away this, those challenges. We believe that the smart use of digital trust and transparency technologies such as blockchain and distri distributed ledger technology can help some of these issues. Many people associate blockchain with Bitcoin, but it is so much more. Technology is the enabler. So what are the areas where it can play a role? Transparency, farm to fork, in areas such as food safety, food quality, and sustainability. It can play a role in the transparency of in, in input supply, both battling counterfeit seed as well as confronting adulteration of, for instance, fertilizer. It can help to tackle market failures, uh, such as in credit supply. Uh, financial mediation tends to be really costly for small uh, smallholders and through uh, improved harvest collection. Technology as an enabler can also help tackling institutional failures uh, through, for instance, rural organiza uh, organization. And it can help address da data privacy, uh, privacy issues, especially for 
um, small holders which are um, traditionally less powerful. So technology itself is the, e uh, is the easy part. As I said before, the technology challenges are, uh, there are still some technology challenges that need to be so solved, such as, you know, how can you make blockchain work on a brick phone? But in general, those are the easy parts to solve. The really tricky part is related to the soft side, the governance structures, the business models, the partnerships. This is where the platform comes in as a knowledge base. What we want to do is provide a platform for testing blockchain and distributed uh, ledger technology applications that have the potential to solve the seemingly insuperable challenges. We provide a platform for doing the rigorous scientific research on these technology applications to determine what works, how, when, and for whom in order to share that information and to provide a platform for capacity development on all aspects of the technologies and their applications to ensure this technology is inclusive and usable for those for who it is intended. Um, in dynamic complex agri-food systems, we're dealing with real transactions and real commodities. And, and when we start thinking about using uh, digital trust and transparency technologies, you're adding a digital, uh, a digital layer, uh, a digital twin on top of real transactions. And this requires anchors. These anchors um, link the digital twin to the real, uh, to the real world. And these anchors include, but obviously are not limited to, sensors and IoT information, tracking and tracing solutions, such as QR codes and RFID chips, earth observation and remote sensing, crowdsourced proof, digital GPS and time-stamped photographs. This is why we started our testing and learning platform with seed funding by CTA. It has three pillars, presentation of use cases, which is getting underway, support of projects in various stages of maturity, and rigorous science to determine what works and what doesn't work through own research and collaboration with universities. Implementing these technologies in a dynamic complex agri-food system in low and middle income countries will not be without problems. We're operating under the premise that there will be many failures. That's why it's crucially important to have a knowledge base so that those wanting to implement blockchain and related technologies do not need to reinvent the wheel and make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Our knowledge base consists of use cases ranging from cool ideas on how to use blockchain to solve seemingly insuperable challenges to minimum viable products, to proofs of concept related to the technology, its implementation, the business models, partnerships, etc. Through a range of pilots in various stages of maturity to all the way to scalable solutions. That's why we advocate a smart use case life cycle working with carefully designed proofs of concepts and a series of pilots with, with increasing participation of key stakeholders and a funding base for the scalable use case in private equity. The rigorous science component is currently underrepresented in the platform because we start out with pilots and other use cases that are being implemented already without the consideration of doing the rigorous science on them to determine what works, what doesn't work, why, where, and how. As I said before, the technology is the easy part. So while there may be some research done on the technical innovation themselves and the adoptability thereof, the major focus of the research that we advocate is on business models, multi-stakeholder platforms involved in the implementation, 
the partnerships, institutional arrangements, organizational innovations, and governance structures, as well as relevant impact pathways from implementation to achieve, uh, the achievement of key goals, especially in relation to the SDGs in keep, and keeping our agri-food system within planetary boundaries. I've been talking uh, way too long now, so let's hear from others on Agri-Food Trust. Now we will hear from Chris Addison, one of the co-founders of Agri-Food Trust, formerly with CTA and now working as a uh, consultant for digital agriculture. I'm Chris Addison, digital development consultant with communique.org. I'm particularly interested in what Agri-Food Trust has done in bringing cases together with scientifically validated proof of value so that organizations are able to make choices on the basis of both the system and the opportunities it provides, but taking a validated impact assessment of that work too. I became myself interested in digital trust and transparency through my work with farm management systems in Africa, Caribbean and Pacific. And I saw the difference it made between trust in smallholder farmers and their tea factory. It meant that tea the farmers delivered would be accurately measured digitally at collection points. They could be more swiftly paid. And at the same time, the tea factory could map out exactly where the farmers were, the land that they were growing on, and provide inputs as credit. In Uganda, I saw the role of building trust between the producer and the customers by having really good digital tracking, proving the origin of the coffee bean. And most recently, looking at blockchain validation in building trust between farmers and consumers for food safety, uh, where in Trinidad, a group of certified farmers using organic methods for growing and observing food safety throughout the value chain ensured that fresh ingredients for a pack used to produce soup was available in supermarkets. I've been involved in the initial setup of Agri-Food Trust and like to continue to engage on the proof of value work using some of the monitoring and evaluation methods for measuring the impact of digital approaches to building trust. I'm seeing it as being very valuable in my current work where organizations and investors are looking at investing in applications and digital applications, but are unsure on the real impact. If Agri-Food Trust can succeed in bringing together these cases with scientifically validated proof, drawing on the expertise of the CG system, I think this will be a very useful tool in that toolkit for decision makers and investors to invest in digital transformation in agriculture. And now we will hear from Marike Dreiter de Wilt, one of the co-founders of Agri-Food Trust. Marike is CEO and founder of The New Fork, an agri-food blockchain startup. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Marike de Ruiter Wild. I'm the founder of the New Fork, a blockchain for food company based in Amsterdam. And I am super thrilled that next month we will kick off the Strike 2 Digital Summit. Last year we had a very inspiring summit that actually uh, had nine tracks. You will see which of these nine tracks will still uh, are still sort of ongoing and innovating. innovating. And uh, we have a few new components this year. Besides the fact that we're digital, we have a very strong collaboration with the AgriFood Trust Platform. And we have a new track that is owned and sponsored by a CGR, a research organization worldwide, where we will see the Innovation Inspired Challenge winners. So we hope that amongst the viewers, some of you are indeed the Innovation Inspired Challenge winners. And we will see you in the track. See you the 5th of November. I always confuse the months. And uh, come and check on www.strike2summit.com. See you there. See you in Strike 2.
now hear from Bart from Marsvein of the New Fork about what uh, the New Fork does. Um, he will tell us uh, some of the key, the key issues. There is one thing that the why we uh, from Agri Food Trust are linking up with the New Fork is the fact that they have blockchain master uh, master classes which they or, uh, organize and capacity development on digital trust and transparency technologies is crucial for um, uh, enhancing uh, and enabling these uh, solutions to take hold uh, to take hold this is Bart from the new fork um, Bart I want to learn about your passion for blockchain Yes, of course. So the, the new fork um, uh, embraces open public blockchain tech and brings that in a very um, innovative and understandable way to the consortia of the food ecosystem. And why is blockchain and food uh, an interesting, why is it an interesting time in history for that? Well, of course, we need to uh, establish trust in our food, and blockchain is a means uh, to, to get there. Uh, but of course, it only has value if the system is owned by all its players, and that's exactly uh, where the fork makes a difference. Uh. Agri Food Trust partners partners with other platform initiatives, such as the Carbon Drawn Initiative, led by Takya da Damon. We will now hear from Nathan Anderson, CEO and founder of ScamTrust. ScamTrust is a connected goods platform for companies that sell physical products in a connected world. By binding physical goods with an online identity, we protect brands, provide awareness of what's happening in supply chains, and create consumer engagement opportunities. Restoring and improving consumer trust in the food industry is a perennial challenge, even in the best market conditions and one that we are specialized in. ScanTrust was originally founded as a solution to address the proliferation of hazards from counterfeit products. To that point, ScanTrust technology includes a patented method for securing QR codes, the result being the convenience of a QR that is all but impossible to copy without detection. Because AgriFood Trust is a testing and learning platform for technologies, we expect that ScanTrust technology and experience can be an excellent resource for the AgriFood Trust community. We hope also to expand our footprint in terms of discovering new projects that are looking for solutions like those that we offer by interacting with AgriFood Trust. In addition to making product authentication possible using secure graphic technology, we also offer critical services with serialization, such as product gray market alerting and the use cases to demonstrate real world implementations of our technology. Our agricultural clients include seed company Syngenta, but also several food and beverage producers that are already taking advantage of our expertise in protecting brands, increasing supply chain awareness, and using those as an avenue for consumer engagement. With AgriFood Trust, perhaps those same successes will turn into your own. AgUnity focuses on bringing 
uh, blockchain enabled uh, digital ag solutions to smallholder farmers in lower and lower middle income countries. We will now hear from David Davies, the CEO and founder of Ag Unity, about what they do. This $50 Ag Unity phone will enable a smallholder farmer to lift herself out of poverty. Hi, I'm David Davies. The World Food Program, banks, service providers, commodity buyers and other development programs pay us to roll out Ag Unity because it is the best way for them to connect with last mile users, address UN Sustainable Development Goals and improve the lives of millions of people. This solution that we've been working on for four years only needed a small pivot to play a vital role in safe food supply during the pandemic. COVID-19 is causing the worst food crisis of a generation and many struggling countries may fail. Governments are facing a horrible choice. Lock down and you kill the economy, create unrest and food shortages, and people may actually starve. But if you don't lock down, then you get deaths from the virus, you overwhelm the medical system and probably get isolated. Food markets are the worst vectors for spreading viruses to small villages. And Ag Unity offers a third option, allowing those food markets to be closed down while keeping the food supply chain operating and farmers from small villages still earning a living without having to trape into town. Our first COVID projects have been approved for New Guinea and Uganda, and we have four others in the pipeline. There's a common problem facing ethical food companies worldwide. Any company can slap a label on their product claiming it to be sustainable or environmentally responsible or produced by good regenerative farming. Just slap a meaningless label without doing anything to back it up. How does a consumer really know they are buying ethically and responsibly? And how do they know their food is as wholesome as it claims to be? AgUnity is working with Fairtrade and other good organisations to change that. Just by scanning a QR code on a product, a consumer will be able to see the origin of produce right back to the small farmer that grew it and see the great work that Fairtrade and others are doing to change their lives, such as building schools and hospitals. One day very soon when you enjoy your morning coffee, you will be able to do so knowing that you are having a positive impact on the life of a farmer on the other side of the planet and you may even be able to send them a tip and have them say thank you right back to you. AgriFood Trust collaborates on digital identity and trust in digital identity with uh, the Blue, uh, Blue Number Foundation. Uh, and we will hear more from Puvan on this. Thanks to Gideon, Marika and Chris for inviting me to share our work at Blue Number and how it is enhanced by the vision and principles of the AgriFood Trust platform. My name is Poovan. I work at the confluence of business, human rights and digitization. My experience was built at the United Nations in New York, Geneva and Rome on issues of food security, sustainable agriculture and human rights. I founded Blue Number, a nonprofit organization in New York working on digital identity, supply chain, sustainability and transparency. We do traceability using digital ID. We focus on the idea that new human ID is expressed purely by data meaning that for a person or a process to be addressed, 
it must be as data that can be presented or measured digitally. If the data does not exist, then that person or process cannot exist. So we must have reliable data on platforms such as AgriFood Trust to anchor our people process to the product processes that define food systems. Blue numbers build profiles by linking IDs which share data. AgriFood's open and collaborative platform can ensure that the data we peg people to is trustworthy, meaningful, and informed by experiences from other partners in different geographies and contexts. With blue numbers between consumers and farmers, and everyone in between, you know and see people. This recognizes their connections and relationships as critical anchors in a supply chain. Process metrics such as carbon footprint now have real value because transactional data is anchored to people's livelihoods and choices. We want everyone to be a digital actor in value chains, especially the smallest farmers and consumers. Data must be the first crop for farmers because data about their produce has as much value as the produce itself. Data ensures quality of inputs and feedback on practices and data qualifies produce as being fit for market and data provides buyers with trust and confidence. For data that feeds and satisfies consumers, we should pay the farmer directly, what we now pay those intermediaries who just find, gather and present farm data. Which brings us to the idea of symbiotic sustainability. Products claim to be sustainable by measuring discrete processes that add up to pass a certification standard, but buying that product does not deliver sustainability. The failure of this approach is all around us. Our planet still suffers and people are still slaves in chains. This unsustainability is because of the choices we make. A food system is only sustainable if a farmer chooses to practice sustainability, and that choice is only sustainable if consumers choose to buy and consume responsibly. Carbon emissions reduce when we make better choices. Plastic waste is generated because products are sold in plastic and we buy them. Ocean plastic bottles are the tragic expression of the choices that companies and consumers have made. We developed an SDG scorecard in 2016. This shows a smallholder community in Indonesia with SDG scores used to evidence that they had positive impacts on the environment by avoiding deforestation. It also showed their household incomes and how certification could boost their earnings and market access. SDG scores reflect the positive choices being made by individuals wherever they are in the value chain, both farmers and consumers. We're finally at the point of becoming a digital society, and we must realize that being so is not just about technology. It's about our values and the rights that go with them. We at Blue Number are proud to work with the New Fork and the Agri-Food Trust platform to make digital equality and data equity a reality. To develop new, new use cases, we team up with blockchain enthousia, uh, enthusiasts, such as Eloise Stankyoff, um, who is a, um, a tech advisor to numerous startups. Hi, I'm Ellery Stanchoff, Director of Strategy and Innovation at EcoBrios. I'm happy to collaborate with the AgriTrust platform. I think it is a great initiative to build efficiency, standardization, and most importantly, build trust for all stakeholders in agriculture. I think if we're going to have sustainable food resources for the next 50 years, for the next generation, building trust among farmers, among uh, consumers and producers is the best way to do this. Um, for me, the AgriTrust platform is a great way for you to pilot your projects, work together and build a network that in the end wants to create a more sustainable food system. Thanks. We also work closely together with development organizations. Uh, that are working in the same space, working on uh, on digital trust and transparency. We will now hear from Lars Conard of GIZ, his views on agri-food trust.
Hello, my name is Lars Carnot and I work for the DRZ in a program on sustainable agricultural supply chains and standards. The DRZ is a German government-owned service provider in the field of international cooperation for sustainable development, working in around 120 countries with more than 22,000 staff. Our main commissioning party is the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development. In our program, one of our key concerns is how can we ensure that the products we as consumers buy in supermarkets and groceries around the world have been produced sustainably. And most importantly, that the farmers and those employed in agriculture are receiving a good and fair income and that agriculture doesn't exploit, overexploit natural resources. In particular, that food production does not lead to further deforestation. And connected to that, how can we use the momentum of potential due diligence legislations, as currently being discussed in Germany and Europe, to trigger benefits for smallholder farmers and foster sustainable production at large? We need to integrate supply chains, make them transparent and connect the delivery of services. Digital technologies do play a decisive role here, and in particular blockchain technology can help to create trust between different actors. And we need to integrate not only vertically along individual supply chains, but also horizontally. Currently, a lot of digital trust and transparency solutions are being deployed. However, many of them competitively and in isolation. We need to avoid to create just islands of sustainability and isolated technologies. Rather, it is crucial to collaborate and take a pre-competitive approach to digital trust and transparency. We need to avoid duplications and drive efficiencies for the agri-food ecosystem as a whole. This also includes driving towards standardization and interoperability between Hence, the Agri-Food Trust comes in the right moment, providing a much-needed digital space for collaboration to exchange and align stakeholders behind shared goals, bringing different types of actors together, including research. In that spirit, we have been developing a transferable and easily adaptable open-source traceability solution built on Hyperledger. In the next phase, we want to scale and transfer it to other contexts. We also want to develop a community around the code, we are happy to use Agri-Food Trust as a platform to do so. So, whether you're a supply chain or tech business, a development agency or research institution, please do join and contribute to Agri-Food Trust to jointly work towards more transparent, efficient and resilient Agri-Food ecosystems. Hope to see you at Strike2 and on Agri-Food Trust. Thank you very much. Agri-Food Trust has been supporting the development of project proposals and concept notes related to uh, blockchain-enabled solutions for, addre uh, for addressing the seemingly insuperable challenges facing the agri-food systems. Now, let me give you an example of one of those, uh, one of those uh, projects. The concept was developed in 2019 and published as a a report within uh, uh, within the community of practice on socioeconomic uh, data. Um, there were various submissions in terms of concept notes to try to get the the the, the project uh, uh, funded, and finally uh, it was uh, it was an Inspire Challenge finalist this year. Now let's hear Jan van Ipere explain what this is all about. In Nigeria, half of the population suffers from hidden hunger due to a broken food system. Many work to ensure the population has access to a more diverse diet, but the major staples will still contribute a large proportion of calories to the population of Nigeria. With those calories, delivery of sufficient micronutrients needs to be ensured. But vitamin A deficiency costs Nigeria about $180 million annually and affects approximately 30% of the population. Maize is a low-value crop with a massive impact on the daily lives of over 30 million children in Nigeria. It deserves to be nutritionally enhanced and protected through the value chain. 
Nutrient enriched crops are a proven solution for reducing malnutrition. That is why we focus on biofortified vitamin A orange maize as a food system to deliver the micronutrients to reduce vitamin A deficiency. But reaching more people with biofortified vitamin A orange maize is held back due to lack of traceability in the supply chain. It is really hard to determine what is biofortified orange maize and what is not. This forms one of the biggest barriers for stakeholders to scale and for the food industry and consumers to adopt biofortification. Protection and verification of the authenticity simply is not there. That is where we come in and use blockchain technology to address this challenge. The immutability of blockchain technology lends itself perfectly to create a traceable food supply to agri-food producers and the populace, something that will finally allow adoption of biofortified foods by the global food manufacturers. We will create a self-sustaining, fraud-free traceability system that distinguishes and separates biofortified maize from standard on the journey from seed to shell. And why us? Because we can. Harvest Plus leads the way in the commercialization of biofortification globally, and the Harvest Plus team in Nigeria has been building supply chains for nearly 10 years. In Nigeria, Elkanis and partners have a boosting impact on smallholder farmers and farmers' income and wealth. And the New Fork is a young but proven company that inspires and helps people and organizations worldwide by building food integrity solutions on blockchain. We are a unique bunch with diverse skill sets, gender, ethnicity, culture and experience, but with the shared goal to implement something new to fix an ages old problem. The AgriFood Trust platform will propel what we already planned. Comprehensive mapping of vitamin A orange maize supply chains, identification of five end users of vitamin A orange maize, creation of the pilot blockchain system with those users, testing of the pilot blockchain system, and grow an orange maize user base and take inventory of interest in scaling up this pilot project. We see Nigeria as a land of opportunity, a country with a youthful population full of ambitions, entrepreneurial spirit, and great ideas to work on. With your help, we can create an ecosystem that will defy hidden hunger and vitamin A deficiency and will show that Nigeria's broken food system can be fixed. Thank you for your attention. I'm sure you're all really excited to get involved in Agri-Food Trust after hearing all these uh, test, uh, testimonials from our partners and, uh, and having learned about the, the platform from the intro. Our platform is open and inclusive. So how can you get involved? Actually, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. One is contributing use cases, things that you're working on that are, that are linked to digital trust and transparency. You can get involved by participating in rigorous scientific research. You can get involved by sharing knowledge on, uh, on these issues. You can get involved by building capacity so that more people are aware and able to implement digital trust and transparency technologies in complex agri-food systems. And you can get involved through participation in discussions. Finally, we're also looking for more funding to do the things that we, what, that we think are really important to do. You can visit us uh, by just scanning the QR code and visiting us at our, uh, at our platform, uh, platform site. We will also be present at the Strike 2 Summit in November. Thank you so much for your uh, your attention, and um, let's continue this uh, conversation in the chat.